I am Ryan Smolkin, Chief Entertainment Officer, Smoke's Poutinery, and as a way of saying thank you to all our poutine fans, <laughs> Smoke himself asked me to go coast to coast and lead our team across Canada to plaid rock and roll gravy train on an epic adventure to find the weird, the what, the wacky things in Canada. We're loaded up with fries, cheese curd, and piping hot gravy to start a poutine revolution post two goals. We couldn't have done it without you, the fans, and especially with the dairy farmers of Canada. Fire it up! Yeah. We are at West Hawk Lake, just off of Highway 44, off the main Trans Canada. But it's a must see, and it's a roadside attraction because we were just driving, and we stopped when we entered the province, and they told us you got to see this. This lake, West Hawk Lake, made by a meteor that hit Canada like millions of years ago. This is the biggest lake in uh, deepest, anyway, all of Manitoba, 111 meters deep from a meteor. This is crazy, right here. Tell me that's not a roadside attraction. Boom, yeah. That's a gorgeous lake. Made by a meteor. Free poutine. Free cheese curds. Free. 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 Don't cut a cross. Dairy Farmers of Canada invited us out to the Smokes Poutinery Cross Canada Poutine Sampling Tour. It's going to be legend. Wait for it because these real Canadian cheese curds are made with 100% Canadian milk dairy. Legendary. Really is going to be legendary though. And the milk, it's uh, tested every step from farm to processing plant to meet some of the most stringent standards in the world. Whoever said there's nothing to do in Moose Jaw is out to lunch. Check this out. And we're just at the start of it. We got to still go all the way downtown and we got to ride the moose, baby, and the plane. I like this. Welcome to Canada's most notorious city. Boom. We are in the heart of Moose Jaw. And I don't think people understand how underground the economy was here. And literally, I mean underground. So you see here, you got the above the street says the history of Moose Jaw. You got the on the street, but what we care about is beneath the street. And this is where Al Capone and all the peeps started brewing all the whiskey underground. And this is the whole story behind it. And then we're gonna go on the tunnels that used to exist. And we're gonna see it all live here. Wow, this is awesome. The tunnels of Moose Jaw, who knew? Who's a good boy? Potato the potato. Mm. It's huge. It's huge. What are you doing over there? You go back I there. can't get the whole thing. <laughs> okay. 54 feet high, 40 feet long, 8 tons, the world's largest. 
Tomahawk! Tell me that's not a roadside attraction right there. Eight tons, baby! And it's going right through the 30 foot high TP roadside attraction here in Cut Knife, Saskatchewan. Yeah. We're in Davidson, Saskatchewan. Right in between Regina and Saskatoon, and we're driving down and we see the world's largest coffee pot. We're talking 150,000 cups of coffee if you fill that puppy up. 24 feet tall, dumping it into the glass. Cheers! Canadians love their coffee. Fire it up! We had to do the Saskatchewan Science Center. This is the most important go-to, I was told. I'm gonna to be stopping at a ton of locations and maybe getting into a little bit of them, but this one was a must. Come on in, I'm doing this one. Fired up, let's do it, Regina rules. Why is this the place to be? This is the place to be because we have plenty of activities for all ages. So we have a lot of different space for you guys to explore. On the first floor, we have our newest exhibit, which is a very hands-on and interactive exhibit. On the second floor... We You're right, he is better than you. <laughs> <laughs> there! I got that one. Did that do it? Yeah, Did that do it? Did finally do it? Okay, thank God I have a kid with me because he's showing me up. But this is a place for everybody, all ages, right here. All oh. right. You did it first try. You did it first try. I, here I am saying, we'll do it so we'll look like it does first try. Then you do it first try. <laughs> You were just on Mars. How was it? All right, your turn. That was Mars. That was crazy. <laughs> Come on, Wade. Go. We have arrived at Manitou Lake in the middle of Saskatchewan. Nobody knows of this little lake, but it is only one of three in the world with the salt concentration high enough that the body floats. It is known as Canada's Dead Sea. But now, somehow, it's cold, but they talked me into going into a cold lake. Oh my god! It officially works here in Little Manitou Lake in Saskatchewan. Closing in on Saskatoon. And if you saw me, I was floating like a god. When I say ça, Montmartre. It was in Saskatchewan of all places. Montmartre, French background since the 19th century, but they decided to take it beyond that. Why not put the Eiffel Tower right here? We're talking like 30 feet high. This is a direct replica to scale of the Eiffel Tower right here in Saskatchewan. Who knew? Fire it up. Roadside attraction, baby, right there. Thank you so much! <laughs> this girl's a rock and roll all star! Sorry, I'm in the way. I 
photo of this melody. I did not get my hand <laughs> delivered. This That's is wicked. That's awesome. Can you get a photo? <laughs> T-Rex! Oh, scrap metal. On this, this absolutely rocks. You say you got a hankering for some French fries, some cheese, some gravy, and maybe some other crazy toppings? Well, you come to the right place at the right time. This is the person behind Smoke's Boutique. Of course, fries, curd, and gravy. 